Hey everybody, Awesome Edgy here, and today we're going to check out something called Raycon Dungeon. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that first word correctly, but I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing Dungeon properly. Uh, this is a procedurally generated dungeon crawler um, that's like got RPG elements and leveling up, and uh, it's got uh, kind of voxel, pixel-based graphics, as you can probably tell by the image there in the background. Um, but the one thing that kind of caught my eye on this is the element in the game where after defeating an enemy, you can choose to resurrect yourself in the body of the dead enemy you just slain. Uh, so you can kind of take them over and use them to your, uh, to your advantage. So if you find a difficult enemy and you just barely kill it and it had some like killer moves, uh, you can take over their body and use their stuff. So that's about all I know about the game. So let's get into the game real quick and see what it's all about and kind of mess around and see what's going on. They're on Kickstarter right now. Uh, they've got, at the date of recording, they've got like 18 days left. But by the time this goes up, they'll probably only have like two weeks left. So check the description below uh, for a link to their Kickstarter. Go over there, check it out. They've got more information about how the game works and what they're planning and things like that. And then if you like the idea and you want to pick up a copy of the game, feel free to back them on Kickstarter. This, this is... it looks very promising. Okay, welcome to the tutorial. You can move with WASD and rotate the camera with the mouse. Try to reach checkpoints. You can also lock the camera by pressing the right mouse button. So if I go like... Ah, ah, but then I can't... my character doesn't... I have no idea what that did. My character can't move side to side like that, so it's it's more of a uh, this bronze key collected. Ah, they're keys. Mana and health potion, I would assume. All right. Lost right mouse button to lock the camera. Yeah, learned that. Collect the keys and items to open doors and solve puzzles. Press left mouse button to attack. Q W E R F. And 1, 2, 3, 4 to activate skills. I currently only have Q. Oh, that's it. Use the key to open the door, but be use keys to open the door, but beware of what lies ahead. Use the left mouse button to attack and try not to get killed. <laughs> Simple enough. Required two keys. Okay. What are these? Are these buttons? No, it's just a down section of the floor. Okay. There's a slime thing, I think. What are you? You look... Why is my health already going down? Slain! Money obtained. Oh, my health regen. Okay, cool. I don't know what this 10% thing is. Ah! Zombie! There we go. 60%. Oh, that's experience. Okay. One skill gem collected. Okay. How do I inventory quests skills? Here we go. Fire breath. Deals damage to all enemies in front of you. Mana cost 8. I see my health went down. Oh, my max health changed. I guess I bought that with my one skill point. What's that, E? Okay. The door is stuck. You'll have to force it to proceed. Someone needs your help in this dungeon. Find him. Ah! You bit me! Oh, hey. Mana apparently does mana does regen just much slower than health. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's candles. E. Take that. Level up. Use your new attribute point. 
another skill gem, and an attribute point. So character. Ah! Vitality, endurance, attack, resistance, magical attack, and magical resistance. Straightforward enough. Uh, let's go with... Your name. <laughs> Next level to... Okay. Let's put it into... Vitality is health. What is endurance? One would think endurance was health. Or I guess that's damage taken. This is physical HP. This is d reducing damage taken. I think I'll do that. Oh no, it was magic. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't prepared for that. That's okay. God, this... Look at that. That looks awesome. Whoa! What the heck did that do? Can, can you... Can you get down? I think that dude's stuck up there. Gain experience points and level up the character. Increase attack, vitality, resistance, and endurance from the character menu. I guess that's it. I got really good range on this sword, man. How does one utilize a... Use... To use slash equip. What if I wanted to equip it in slot one? Yeah, see, I didn't want to use that. Okay, that's alright. This is still alpha, so I mean, stuff is going to be a little buggy. It has not been perfected yet. Greetings, big slime. Oh, I right clicked, sorry. How do I release you? I guess that's like a knockback? Skill gem. Ah! Summons an ice wall that blocks enemy movement. Heals instantly. Let's, let's get both of those. Actually, can I... Yeah, put that on with F? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Okay, let's do R for heal. Okay. Ah, oh, God, a trap. Skill gem. Power increases strength by 50% for six seconds. Okay. F. Oh, awesome. Here's another door. Greetings, who are you? Oh. Okay. Ah, I can purchase potions. How do I click? Amber, diamonds, and emeralds. A crafting resource. Okay. Oops. You can use the portal to explore the dungeon by yourself. Just go talk to the hermit in front of it. Town vendors are located near the fountain, and they will sell you basic items. Welcome to the Citadel. You can use the portal to explore the dungeon. Oh. Derp. Alright. All these are dudes. Oh, I can't hit you. I'm sorry. What's up in here? Up in here.
Ah, the portal is... Oh, hello. To travel to the tutorial. Ah, okay. Sorry. Let's breeze through this real quick. Yep. Destruction was had to your face. healing. I thought I would heal. Whoa, hold on. Well, that was unfortunate. I just used all my health spells. <laughs> those were not spells. Those were potions. Yes. Thank you. Drain globe, arcane damage that deals enemies and gets some health back. Okay. Whoa. Regen. Arcane Barrage, and Burning Flames. Simple enough. I don't have enough. I certainly do! Wow, that doesn't... Holy cow. That doesn't get back any magic. Use your magic sparingly, people. I thought that was regening earlier. I guess I was wrong. Hi! Okay, so... I haven't experienced the... the taking over someone else's body yet? Maybe that's dying and that... Hello, a TARDIS! Well, this is going to be interesting and full of Easter eggs in that case. That's pretty straightforward. Alright, what's... I forgot which way I went. Did I go this way last time? I don't think I did. Ah, the fountain. This is the fountain. Hello, what's all this? It's a little family of slimes. I cannot jump. I guess all this stuff is closed off for future possible expansion, which is awesome. Let's explore a bit more. In. Can't get in there yet. Oh, hey. Uh, sorry. Come back later if you want some crafting recipes, okay? This was the fountain. There was something on the other side of the fountain. I think. Could have just been blowed up. Yeah, it's blowed up. Alright, what's over here then? Can I fall off the edge? I can. Not. <laughs> that is also blowed up. Alright, cool. So let's head back in real quick. 
and see if I can be slain and what happens then. Uh, this was not the way in. Pain! Oh, dinos! I like how my reaction with seeing something cool is to hit it with my sword. I don't get what make, what make what's making my health fluctuate down there between 35, 45, 55. What is that? I don't know. Oh, here we go. New dungeon. Torches which aren't lit means there's a drought extinguishing the flame. Find it and perhaps it can lead to something interesting. Stairs will bring you to the next dungeon. When you find them, there will also be an NPC that will let you know how to teleport back to the Citadel. Okay. Generating. Whoa, whoa. Unprepared. Alright, let's heal. Do, do I have a map? I do not have a map. Okay, cool. Having a map in the future would be helpful. I'm sure that's something they'll plan. Oh! Well, here's the, uh, the exit down to the bottom. And here's the wizard to tell me if I can leave. Go back to the citadel. I do not want to do that. Let's go explore the other side of the dungeon real quick. See, I was going to intentionally die to see if that gave me the option to resurrect into someone's body. But now that there's a new dungeon that's actually procedurally generated instead of uh, forced upon us for tutorial reasons. That, are these like jars? Oh, they are! One slime meat. Okay, this is awesome. So I guess this is an indicator of a secret nearby. Okay, so that's it. Is that a food bar? Off to the far right, it's got like an apple, I guess, and the green. And the green. Good job, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Do I need to consume sustenance? Interact. Downstairs. Oh god! Again! Maybe there needs to be like a starting room, perhaps? Alright, so... We're gonna go two so I can regen a little. Perish, you frog! Alright, what's in here? Hello? I will kill you. I've come to kill you. I have not the manners. 
I have the manas. Oh, hello. That's totally a ghost, I believe. Hello, Senor Ghost. Level up! Character. Attack. Let's do more damage. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. That floor change in floor texture and the pixelation right here and right here at the top of the walls makes me think that either A there's a way in there or B it's possible that that is a procedurally generated error like, it had a possibility of placing a room there, or a hallway, and did not. Wait a second. I guess there's a torch on that wall to indicate if I had come from this direction. That would make sense. You know, that's a very subtle addition. Torches that do not light. Because that's going to be something people would overlook frequently. I like this. It'd be awesome if they had... I, I Again, I have not checked their... Or, I, I have checked it, but I haven't checked it deeply, their uh, Kickstarter page. But it would be awesome if they had some kind of uh, desire in the future to add some kind of multiplayer support for this. There's a box sticking out of the wall over there. Ow! What is that? Bread! Oh, my food went up a little. You know, I bet this food bar is your natural regen. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm walking through things. Let's go down one more time. There we go. Yeah, there needs to be some kind of starting room. Doesn't immediately drop you in front of some mobs. But once again, it's alpha. Give it a bit of a break. Not everything is instituted the way they want it to be. Alright, cool. So, now, I'm going to try to die and see what happens. Oh, that should not be a problem. Hello, Mr. Frogman. Hello, Mr. Frogman. it up, dude. Get all stabby. Well, <laughs> that crashed the game. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, on a side note, go down and check out their Kickstarter. Uh, I'm going to read it a little bit more here in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, that game looks like it has quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a bit of influence from standard dungeon crawlers, from stuff like uh, Minecraft slash Cube World style appearance, uh, and it looked pretty sweet. I like, I love the idea of procedurally generated dungeons and being able to resurrect in other people's bodies. I don't know if that's something that's supposed to open up later on or if it's when you die, but I'm sure they go over some of that in a little more detail on their Kickstarter page. So go over there, check it out, and uh, I hope you guys liked it. See y'all next time.